What is going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now you've probably experienced this, but running email marketing campaigns manually can be a huge time sink. And that's exactly where platforms like Brevo come in. Essentially, it's all drag and drop that can add automations to you guys' email marketing efforts and that way nothing slips through the cracks. So whether you guys are nurturing your leads, sending post-purchase emails, or even onboarding new customers, Brevo can go ahead and automate the whole process for you. So in this guide, I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how to do that in under 10 minutes without any technical skills required. Now because this this is a step-by-step -step tutorial. I am going to be sharing my screen here. So if you guys do want to follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, there's going to be a link down below in the description. And actually, if you guys do use our link as a thank you, we can actually provide a 50% discount off for you guys. As you guys see, this 50% discount applies to the starter and the business plans and applies for the first three months. So go ahead and use the coupon startup wise for that discount. So with this discount offer, don't worry, you don't have to pay up front. You can actually still go through this button to actually go through the whole setup process. So right over here, if we click on claim my discount, it's going to lead us to actually create an account. So let's go ahead and enter the email that we want to use and set your guys' password. Alrighty, now we got to verify our email address. Alrighty, now once we verified our email address, we're just going to enter some basic information about us, first and last name, company name, and the website. So I'm going to go ahead and use www.test.com. But if you guys don't have a website, you can just click I don't have a website. And you can also put your address here as well. So go ahead and select country, then the state, if you guys are in the United States. And then it's gonna ask you a couple basic questions regarding your guys' business. So how many people are on your team? How many contacts do you guys have? If we still online, so let's press continue here. Now, if you guys do wanna utilize that discount, you guys do need to get the starter or the business plan, but you guys do get 50% off for the first three months. However, for the purposes of this video, we'll just go ahead and go with the free plan. And that way you guys will see what Brevo is all about. So let's go ahead and continue with the free plan here. And boom, we're in the system. Alrighty, now right off the bat, we see that there's gonna be a lot of options in front of us. There's gonna be contacts, campaigns, automations, transactional conversations, deals, meetings, and calls. So this platform can do a lot. Now to keep this video straightforward, we are gonna focus more on the email marketing component and the automation side of things. Now, when it comes to email marketing, the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to have people to send emails to. Now, if I was in your guys' shoes, the very first thing that I would do is go ahead and import the contacts that you guys have. And that way you guys can go ahead and actually have someone to market to. From there, we want to go ahead and segment the specific individuals that we have in our database because we don't want every single person be getting the same email. Because think about it, if whatever you guys are sending is coming off as generic, people are not going to look at it. In this day and age, we need to stand out. So we need to come off as personalized and tailored towards the customer. So I would go ahead and create a segment here. And as you guys see, there's already ones that are going to be pre-built for us. There's going to be ones for email marketing, SMS marketing, or even demographics. So this will allow you guys to put folks into their own respective buckets. And that way it's all going to be accurate. Now you can do something that's very similar with companies. So all the companies that you guys are going to be working with, go ahead and import them into the system. And that way Brevo is acting almost like a CRM. Cool. And there are a lot of different ways of attracting folks onto your guys' platform, ranging from landing pages to forms. But let's go ahead and focus on email marketing. So whenever we go to the campaign option right over here, we see that email marketing is going to be one of our options. So let's go ahead and click on it. The campaign is going to be test. And boom, from here, it's pretty straightforward where we can go ahead and edit the actual sender, manage the recipients, change the subject, and make sure the email actually looks good. And if we click on the email editor, it looks pretty clean. It kind of looks like every other email editor. So if we go to use template, it's all drag and drop, really easy to use. And that's how your email is going to look like. So let's go ahead and back out of this because the true magic is going to live in automations. But whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and schedule it and it's going to go out. But what happens after? right? Let's say people are interacting with it. People are responding to it. What do we do? And that's exactly where automations come in because if we're sending hundreds or even thousands of emails, it's impossible to keep up unless we have a huge team. So let's go to automations here and let's create our first one. Now, when we open the automation tab, here's how it's going to look like. As you guys see, there's going to be three things we got to look out for. There's going to be the triggers, actions, and rules. So the way that automations work, I would almost think of it as like if then logic. So if somebody has opened up your email or if somebody has responded to it, then X, Y, and Z is gonna follow. So here's how it's gonna look like. For example, let's say contact is added to a list. Let's go ahead and drag that here. Right, that's gonna be our initial trigger. That's what's gonna set off this whole automation. Now, this is gonna be our very basic list. So let's go ahead and press save. But you guys can go ahead and specify the specific list that's gonna be used. So that's why segmenting is gonna be really important. Cool, and once we wrote that, what is gonna be the action that's gonna follow it? So there's gonna be all the different things that are gonna be available for you. And they're gonna range from adding a contact to a list or removing them from a list, adding them to a block list, or send them an email, or send them an SMS, or add a webhook. 
create a task, create a deal under them, or even start off another automation. There's a lot we can do. But for example, let's go ahead and say we're going to add an email, right? We're going to automatically send an email. Boom. And from there, we can go ahead and select a specific template of the email that we're going to use, as well as type in the subject line, different preview text, the email address is going to come from and the sender's name. So let's go ahead and press save. Now for all the contacts that are going to be added to that list, they're going to be added to that specific email thread and they're going to get that email that we just created under that template with a subject line test. However, if you guys want to add further actions either before or after a specific action or a trigger, all you got to do is just, for example, send an SMS. This can occur after or before, right? Kind of however you guys want it. So it's really straightforward from there. And when it comes to rules, essentially this can create like branching when it comes to your guys' marketing efforts. So for example, if you guys just send an email, it may be not the best idea to send an SMS right away. So we'd probably want to have a time delay right over here in the middle. All right, and like you can have this be like a day, for example, but you can also have a conditional split. Like for example, if something happens, they go down a certain path and then something else happens, they go down another path. So let's say if they got added to list number one, they go down a certain path and let's say if they got added to list number two, they go to another path and they're going to get targeted by different emails and SMS and content, stuff like that. And you can add that right over here. And then from there, as you guys see, there's going to be two different paths that are going to be created. And when it comes to different paths, we can go ahead and have it be determined by a list or a segment or even a filter. So if we select one of our lists here, like for example, marketing automation, let's go ahead and select that list. So if a person is a member of that list, that is going to be our condition here, but we can also have an and condition. So if a person is a member of a list and something else or condition, let's say if they're a member of this list or another list, and that way they're going to go down a specific path. So as you guys see right over here, contacts that are going to match those filters will take the yes branch. So if they're going to be members of the list, then they're going to go down this way. However, if they're not going to be members of that branch, they're going to go in the no direction and they're going to be targeted by complete different things. And this is not out just yet, but they're also adding an AB split. And that way, if you guys are going to be targeting folks with different things, you can go ahead and send out different types of content, send out different types of emails and double down on what is working and cut short on what isn't. And if you guys would like, you can also add a wait until an event happens between you guys' triggers or events. And that way we'll actually wait until an event happens and will not proceed further if it doesn't. However, if you guys do want to have that wait time, but you guys do want them to go to the next spot and not be stuck in it, you can also change a specific time frame. So for example, so right over here, you guys can go ahead and select a specific event when it comes to you guys' contacts, forms, or emails. And from there on, you guys can select months, days, hours, or minutes. And that way, if they actually go through that event within a certain period of time, they're going to go to the yes branch. But if they don't, they're going to go to the no branch. And that's going to be really important when it comes to targeting, because if you guys have your hot leads and they're interacting with your stuff right away, we're going to treat them completely differently versus someone that's opening up your guys' emails like two months from now on. And if you guys want to see results behind certain automations, what I'd personally do is just go to the activity tab right over here. You can go ahead and pull up the specific statistics day period. And that way you can see all the different things that happen between now and then and see what things have been working and what things have not. But let's go ahead and exit our editor here because I want you guys to see that you don't need to create things from scratch right away. Because if we go to the create automation right over here, there are actually automations that are going to be pre-built already. Like if somebody has abandoned their car or somebody has made a purchase or like a welcome message we send when a new subscriber joins a list, anniversary day, or someone has interacted with anything marketing related, all these things are going to be pre-built for us. So it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to start off at a good foundation. And that way you don't need to spend time on rebuilding it from scratch. So for example, if I go to this marketing one right over here, I'll go to create this automation. So as you guys see right over here, it has actually pre-built the very first two steps for us. So when an email has been opened, we send another one. And from there, we can just build on top of it. Now, this is going to be a very simple template here. However, for things like when a new subscriber joins your guys' email mailing list or whenever there's going to be somebody that's abandoning the car, you can go ahead and use these templates and that way it's going to save you guys a lot of time. And whenever you guys are ready, I would go ahead and press activate automation. And then from there, it's going to run 24 seven and it's going to do all those automations for you. And there you folks have it. As you guys saw, what used to take hours can be done with just a few clicks. So whether you guys are welcoming new subscribers, sending out offers or even re-engaging leads, all those automations can save you guys so much time and energy when it comes to your guys' email marketing efforts. And since it's all done for you, you can be sure that no mistakes are going to be made and that your customers are getting consistent communication. And as I mentioned before, if you guys do want to try out the platform at a discounted rate, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. And if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time. Peace.